he held on to a classified document about a potential attack on Iran. The report says, quote, the recording indicates Trump understood he retained classified material after leaving the White House. On the recording, Trump's comments suggest he would like to share the information, but he's aware of limitations on his ability post-presidency to declassify records, two of the sources said. NBC News has not independently verified this report. Here to break it all down for us, former U.S. Attorney Joyce Vance, who spent 25 years as a federal prosecutor. Joyce, I'm just a layman. This seems like a huge deal. What does it mean for Jack Smith? So I think you're right. It is a huge deal, and it's tough based on what we know right now to assess exactly what it means. Is this a whole new charge that Smith will be able to bring against Trump? This is retention of a document. It doesn't have to be classified under the Espionage Act. It's enough if it's national defense information, but this is both. So it could be a separate charge, but it's also powerful, you know, unbelievably powerful to play a tape recording for a jury and to have them hear the defendant essentially confess that he knew he could not declassify information on the spot and also that he had retained classified material after leaving the presidency. Also, this all happens at Bedminster. It doesn't happen at Mar-a-Lago. There's always been you know, some confusion about what precisely the role of Bedminster in storage of post-presidency documents was for Trump. We've all seen the, the pictures of boxes, we don't know what was in them, that were transported from Mar-a-Lago to Bedminster on roughly a timeline that's consistent with DOJ letting Trump know that they were aware he continued to have possession of these items. So lots of potential uses for this information, all good for the prosecution. Can you remind our audience why Trump's document situation is...